What's up guys? In this video, I want to talk about bandwidth for live streaming. So whether you're live streaming on your phone, live streaming from your computer, you need to think about the bandwidth that's on your local area network and your wide area network, the bandwidth that is available to you from your internet service provider. So let's take a look at that coming up next. All right, so bandwidth for live streaming. Two things we want to think about. Our local area network, which is where we can do some really cool things like have an NDI camera with our webcam, right? So I can run this little app right here. Let me show it off really quickly. This leverages our local area network, okay, with Wi-Fi. So there's my camera. It looks like it's a little jumpy. So I think that my Wi-Fi is chugging a little bit here. But essentially, this is an NDI camera from my Wi-Fi network, my local area network. So it can be used as part of your production for live streaming, but it's not necessarily your live stream that goes to YouTube or Facebook over the wide area network. So your router, which is right here, that is used for... Um, your, you know, getting internet and bringing it into all of the devices, whether it's over wireless access points or whether it's connected directly to your computer that's live streaming. So that's your network at a high level out of your router connects you to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Zoom, all of the live streaming places that you may be live streaming to. So wanted to draw that distinction when you're streaming, we have to compress our video a little bit. And these are some of the options that are popular today. 4K is not as popular as it has been in the past. Um, 4K is kind of um, used, but most people don't have the bandwidth to support 4K. Maybe in a couple of years, we all will. I'll do an internet speed test in a moment and you'll see that we have about 20 megabits of upload speed. Your download speed is used to retrieve things from the internet. Your upload speeds are for streaming content up to the cloud so that people can download them to watch. Uh, but essentially, you I just want to make sure this is clear because this is kind of a high level streaming concept. You've got your resolution and your frame rate and then your bit rate, which is the bandwidth that it requires. The bit rate is essentially how you're compressing that resolution and frame rate. So the higher the bit rate, the higher the quality. Just because you have a high resolution and frame rate doesn't mean you have a high quality. It really comes down to the bit rate. You can have a 4K 30 10 megabit per second stream, which might look okay, but it's not going to look as good as a 30 megabit per second stream, which is considered high quality. So uh, think about increasing your bit rate to increase your quality and never go over twice, uh, basically half of the bandwidth that you have available. So we'll run a speed test in a minute, but I don't need to run a speed test on Google because I found this new tool called Speedify. And Speedify is basically a VPN connectivity tool that you can use to leverage all of your internet connections at once and bond them together. So it's kind of like you know having a live view solo for your computer. It's really cool. You can see I've got two different ethernet connections and a Wi-Fi connection here. And it's actually giving me my upload and download speeds here. Uh, the other thing I can do really quickly is I can run a speed test, which is a really cool option for testing each one of my computer's download and upload speed connections. And it will combine them together. So I really like this because this computer I have has two Ethernet connections plus a Wi-Fi. So I can combine all of that together and turn it into a super internet connection, uh, which, is, which is really awesome. So we'll take a peek at that. Uh, Speedify 10 just released in June. I've kind of been following these guys. And of course, it's great for security. It's like a VPN. It has really great encryption and it gives you privacy, but it really improves the streaming. And that's what I wanted to focus on today because it automatically detects and will prioritize real-time streams like Zoom, Twitch, and more. So we'll take a peek at that as well. 
but it's going to do just check my second ethernet here and my combined internet. It will tell us to really, really bond the different connections into one single usable connection. And again, we're looking at those upload speeds there. Obviously, Wi-Fi upload speeds are less than the hardwired internet connection speeds. But now it's going to give me my combined information here. It's probably not going to be the full total, but it, uh, if, if you would have add those three together, it's going to sum the, up what's available and tell me that I got 176 here um, download. And then it's going to give me a, another option for upload, which I would hope would be 27. So I got, I got about three or four more uh, megabits per second on my upload than I would have had by myself without Speedify. But again, you may want to add cellular connections, especially if you're you know out on the road, for example, and you're adding cellular and Wi-Fi together um, to do a stream. I wish I had this when I've done so many of my streams, which is why I wanted to show this to you guys. So let's go to the dashboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch a live stream. And I'm going to launch a stream out. And what's going to happen is it's going to recognize that I have a stream in just a moment here. So it's very easy to use. It, the sign up is painless. It's just so easy. It's about $10 a month. And boom, it recognized that live stream that I've put there. So it tells you your active live streams. If you have different streams, it will connect to them. Uh, it's pulling up Google as well because I'm streaming to Easy Live. And so it's pull, it's connecting these these videos that are coming down. So anything video related, it pulls up and allows you to monitor in this stream area, which I really like. If you're using a computer, you can use Wi-Fi and cellular. So it's great for laptops, mobile productions. Um, I've downloaded it. It really works great. It gives you those real-time statistics on speed and usage. You can also take a look at latency. So something that we're all always thinking about, especially if you're in mission critical live streams where your clients want to know why is there a half a second of latency, this bonding can help you reduce your latency and really make it smoother throughout. So it gives you a really good look at latency. And then if there is packet loss, which does happen um, from time to time, it will give you a good idea of the, how that's working. It even tells you how many streams you're doing and how many you've done and it gives you seamless failover statistics as well. So it's great for testing live streams where you could use like two or three connections um, for your internet. So I'm gonna turn that stream off and it actually kind of even knows the name of the streams. So I have been very impressed with Speedify. Take a look at it, I'll put a link below. I thought it was a tool that you guys would be interested in, so I wanted to share it. There's a blog post on our website that you guys can check out to learn more about it as well. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you guys going to use something like this? Are you already using a VPN to keep track of your Wi-Fi, your hardwired Ethernet connections, your cellular connections when you're on the go? All right, thanks, guys. Peace.